Greetings, family. My name is Speaker Jermaine. I'm the CEO and the founder of New Black Wall Street. Today, I begin a series called the Black Wall Street Lectures. We're going to begin by paying homage to the great ancestor, O.W. Gurley, who in 1906 brought 40 acres of farmland in what is known as Tulsa, Oklahoma, also called the Black Wall Street. But what is the Black Wall Street mindset? When we go back in history, history is an awesome teacher. Beloved, when we look at a group of black people at the beginning of growth and development in Tulsa, Oklahoma, producing over 600 businesses, but what was their mindset? And what is the mindset that we need today? First, if you look at the collective group of consciousness in Tulsa, Oklahoma, it was unity consciousness. That's the foundation to transform anything as an individual as well as a collective group of people. Number two, they were able to channel their energy. Their thought forms were in alliance, which means that they understood at that time that they could not rely on the government. They could not rely on local government for any type of assistance. They could not allow or could they depend on the dominant society to come in to give them information and help them to grow and to develop. They were self-sustaining. That's a powerful key to understand with the mindset today that the way that you channel your energy, when you wake up in the morning time and you have over your head 100 points of power, to understand that every black man and woman is not powerless, we are powerful. And we're powerful when we channel our energy, when we embrace unity consciousness, when we're able to express without fear, without lack, without any limitation, our hopes, our dreams, and our wishes. Then we're able to implement a process by which we're able to create an environment that is conducive for us to step into our greatness and to allow us to be self-respecting, self-governing, self-organizing black men and women inside of America. These are some of the keys and the insights that we can extract from the original Black Wall Street. Now, what are some of the other things that we can extract? We know about some of the great business owners, but without getting into individual stories, just look at the collective consciousness of the people. They were happy. You know, recently they released a footage and it was in color. You look at the people's skin. Look at their eyes. Look how happy they were. Why? Because black people get this point, beloved. We don't have to argue with the dominant society. We don't have to debate with them on televisions and articles and social media. We have the creativity in our genes. I don't have to debate with anyone from Kemet to the creativity that expressed itself in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We don't have to debate. What we saw is the foundation for us to be able to say, wow, all the things that was against them, they still were able to be extremely successful. Why? Unity consciousness, channeling of their energy, loss of fear, loss of lack and limitation for each person to aspire that it is not outside of the realm of thought for a person to own a bus company. It's not outside of the school of thought for a person to own a movie theater. It's not outside the school of thought for a person to own a bank. Now, in today's time, we're able to look back and see that self-reliance is the key. Stop moving your energy in the direction in which it's put over this place and that place. No, focus all your energy. And this is how we do it, family. The Black Wall Street Lectures. The three eyes of success that will change black America. The brain represents the first eye, and that is imagination. The third eye, the pineal gland, the seat of every psychological and emotional intuition that we have, to allow us to manifest our deeper desires. Now we go to the heart. It represents inspiration in spirit, to be inspired in this moment, to take the intellectual capital that we have, to merge it with inspiration. Now we go a little bit lower into the stomach that represent the third brain, and we go into in 
intuition. Intuition, a sense of urging, a sense of connecting with our spirit guides, the ancestors, the universal intelligence. When we have the three eyes of success, imagination, inspiration, and intuition, then it is from the idea, I deal that we could broker a deal between the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere of the brain. And this idea, it's fertile in the mind. But we don't begin to think of lack and limitation. We allow the brain to connect with the heart and the heart energy field. It goes out further than any other part of the physical body. Once we take the idea and we marry it with spirit, then the universe is going to give us intuition. The third eye is going to give us insight, a nudge. It's going to bring people, places, things, and circumstances. It's going to bring synchronicity to go back into the well of darkness to create for us anything that we want. The universe always says yes. And there's nothing more powerful in the universe than a made-up black mind. Three eyes of success. The Black Wall Street Lectures. Share this with your family members and your friends. I am Speaker Jermaine. No notes, no edits, just for you. Subscribe to this video. Please share this with your family members, with your friends. SpeakerGermaine.com. Peace and blessings, family.